So I'm heading to Vegas. I'm leaving rainy England. I'm sat inside just waiting for the train. I've got a stop via Luton because Steve is coming with me because one thing I know I'm not good at is organisation and trying to get myself from here to Vegas. There's, there's something that definitely go wrong. But anyway, we've got to get to Gatwick or, or Heathrow. Gatwick or Heathrow, I don't know, one of them. That's why I'm not going on my own. And then obviously there's the pool shows out there, the expeditions. So I'm gonna go and speak to all the guys on their stands, find out about their products, see what's cool, see what's going on. And then obviously everything in between, I'm gonna be filming and vlogging. So, and you guys are gonna come along with me and check it all out. So enjoy. At the airport then, everything's going smoothly. We've got here, nice time to spare, have a look around the shops, blah, blah, blah get to the check-in desk this is steve coming with me by the way say hello hello opens up his passport and sees a picture of his wife on the passport so it's all gone wrong um we're now hopefully still going to make it someone's bringing the passport up to the airport hopefully they get it here in time and we um well, i'm going to check in anyway <laughs> steve's going to have to catch a tomorrow. flight tomorrow if he doesn't make this one but hopefully he does Hopefully they get it here in time and we make it on the flight. Steve! Hey! Here we go! We made it! So we landed in Vegas, no more problems occurred, thank God. And we got a taxi straight to the hotel. We were staying at the Flamingo, not the most luxurious, but it was huge. Nice and clean inside, the rooms are massive, loads of room for two of us. And it seemed like it was in a pretty central location too. We made it. Hotel room, Steve's, Steve made it, <laughs> got his passport, I'm knackered, um, two big beds, massive, massive snorer, so I don't know how it's going to go, um, but it we'll, works. We'll, we'll find out. View from the hotel, I can see the sphere in the reflection of the other side of the building. But we've got to get ready to go out because we're going to meet the guys who have been at the awards um, and now there's an after party somewhere so we're going to get showered, <clears throat> changed and then go, go and see what that's like and then probably get an early bedtime. First day in Vegas then, first morning, sorry, we've got a bit of time before the show starts, the pool show. So we're just walking there. Um, just walked across this street over here, which is gonna be part of the part of the F1, which we're going to tomorrow, so obviously look out for that. There's a pool guy over there, just finished cleaning up. Venetian Oh, is it a Venetian? Oh there you go, Venetian hotel. Pool guy over there with his um cartridge filter on a big trolley pump. We're just walking all over the place at the minute. Throw a for a um, casino, we're looking for the sphere. I saw it when we were landing. It's so bloody big. Oh, here you go. Look, some more track. Some more F1 track. <laughs> Check that out. That is crazy. It is so big. That is insane. We wanted to go in, but we can't because we it's basically closed from now until after Formula One. Pretty cool though, seeing it from the outside. Imagine a massive pool, the pool guy right across it, like water, waves and stuff. Nice. Here we are then, Vegas Convention Center. I'm going to stick a mic on, uh, go around and speak to everyone see what's good. Ooh, ice baths. Let's see who we can find first. I need to find Chris Galvin from Blu-ray. Primate pool tools as well. Loads of hot tubs. The best vacuum poles. Carbon fiber. You like that one? It's nice, nice to meet to you in you. person. How you doing, Miles? Right, so I finally bumped into Primate pool tools. Uh, I've actually got one of their poles and the best vacuum pole I've used I've been doing swimming pools for like 15 years, so, and it's the best one. What's this one? So this is our carbon fiber uh, Kevlar weave. It's a special edition version of the pole. So this is the model that, that uh, you have. It's the, oh, okay. the, the tri-pole, the P3X. 
This is a three part, um, six by 16. Super light, super strong. Very light. Two and a half pounds, 10 times the strength of uh, aluminum. Gets out to 15 and a half feet. This one looks so fresh. My one's getting a bit, bit battered at the yeah, minute. Yeah, we, we gotta freshen yours up pretty yeah, soon. The here. handle on my one is like almost black and then all this bit here is just <laughs> really? like, but I've been using it a lot, so. Um, but it's done me, it served me well. And uh, I don't think I'll ever be able to use another vacuum pole, to be honest with you. Oh, I appreciate that, man. They're literally the best ones. So what's this then? This is uh, the new hotel and resort uh, pack. Oh, okay. It, so you can reach out further. You can, uh, will we have people with one of our telescoping poles and yeah. two extensions you can reach out to 31 feet. Okay. And we've had people use it on a million gallon pool where, wow. <laughs> where you need 40 foot reach just to get to the middle. Yeah, see, yeah. I hopefully won't need that because I don't want to be doing any pools wider than 30 foot. So. At, least, at least, well, if you could charge what you need to get to well, that's true. charge a price to that's do true. it for the right price. For the right price, right? Okay, that's the, that is it, yeah. So I'm with Chris Galvin, CEO, owner of Blu-ray XL. Um, he has sent me some of his stuff over to the UK, I've tried it out and it works really well, but let, let's have uh, Chris explain what's well, going on. Well, it's basically a mineral purifier, it's co a copper, silver and zinc base, so it's going to remove the organics out of the water, so your oxidizer, chlorine, tablets, granular liquid, whatever you use in the water, it's more efficient and more effective, so it's going to reduce your overall chemical use across the board 50% and a lot less brushing. So, and also, I just want to say thank you for coming over. No worries, I know, thanks. I, was, I, I wouldn't have come unless you invited yeah. me <laughs> and enticed me over with the paddock tickets. Yeah, right, paddock tickets, <laughs> hey, we, we're going to go see them tomorrow, so, yeah. so I hope you're out Yeah, here. this guy's the reason I'm here, and obviously he's um, invited us to go to watch the F1 tomorrow. Um, paddock tickets, so proper excited for that. But, um, so tell us how we use it then. So basically it comes with the, uh, we have different sizes, but uh, let's, let me show you, the XL Black would be up to 30,000 gallons. Okay. So it comes in two components. One, it's a mineral, and the other one is the cylinder. The cylinder is solid copper and 99.9% uh, uh, copper, uh, silver plated. Okay. So the silver plated has, actu has an actual, um, um, it, the, the, met the method of operation it works is the minerals dissolve in the water, uh, and the cylinder reionizes them. So right. basically recharges them for up to six months so our product can last for six months. So we just drop this in the skimmer or Skimmer the or the basket. pump basket, yeah, yes. And then just, and then just pour the mineral in the pump basket or in the skimmer while the uh, system's running so it can pull it out, yeah, pull yeah. it through, and then dissolve it. So it's gonna dissolve and stay in the water for six months. Oh, wicked. And you, like, it's been going well, like obviously you're mainly in America yeah. distributing and stuff. Yes, yes. So you we're pretty big. much got every pool guy using it. Yeah, we got a. Uh, we started uh, doing direct. We still do direct for okay. uh, pool service. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, pool service technicians. Yeah, oh, wicked. All right, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate for... you coming. Yeah, Thank I look you. forward to tomorrow as well. Yeah. <laughs> I think what I'm realizing as I'm trying to interview people is I'm not good at interviews. So it's good practice though if I ever want to go into uh, interviewing people. What do you reckon? rate my interview skills. Yeah, 10 out of 10. <laughs> so, um, so most of your stuff's really for like uh, above ground pools. Um, and then here you've got Yeah, so scumball. we do above ground pools, we do in ground pools and spas as well. Okay. This product here, the Scumball, it's from the oil industry. Right. Um, it's to pick up oil, oils from your hair products, your makeup, suntan products. Um, anything that you could possibly, deodorant. So really good in hot tubs. Yeah, really good in hot tubs, even pools above ground, in ground. Um, do you do them in like different sizes or is it just... So, no, they come just like this. This is just a one pack little giveaway. Okay. We also do two balls to a pack as well. Right. Um, and yeah, you just toss them in. So if we've got like a big pool, we could put like two or three in. Exactly. Like oh, okay. After a couple of weeks, ring it out. You'll be absolutely disgusted oh, at what comes out of it. it. Yep, they're reusable. Oh, yep. Awesome. And when it starts to deteriorate, that's when you'll want to toss it and, yeah, yeah. and you can throw it in How long do you reckon it'll last, one, one of them? Depends on the bather load. So if you got, you know, that's true. say three girls, high school age, a lot of makeup and stuff. Yeah, if you're having to ring it out more, every day. Yeah, Exactly. Yeah, Compared to, you know, long. I got the hair product in and stuff, you know, I got the very white, so I use the suntan oils and lotions, you know. But that's so, why they say, like, yeah. shower and stuff yeah. before you go into, like, hot exactly. tubs and, and swimming pools. But not everybody but does, does that. Nobody, nobody does, does that. Yeah, <laughs> so that's where this comes in. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah please. Go ahead. Yeah, take them. Yeah. Yep. Please. Please. Go ahead. Yep.
our scum sock here uh, is really a, a, a filter sock, a skimmer, goes oh, over your skimmer sock. Okay. Yeah. So um, any debris that falls in your pool, it's like a pantyhose material, water flows through it, any debris gets stuck. And yeah. so you can take that, throw it away, throw another one on. Because I do go to some jobs where they've got like trees around the pool and they've got exactly. these really fine needles and they go through the little holes in the yep. basket and yep. then they clog up the pump impeller exactly. and all that. Exactly. So put one of these on. Just put one of these on. I have had a customer I once put um, put his missus tights over it. I mean, it works, it's I suppose. very similar material. Very but similar. But it's also going to connect to all that, all that crap coming out. Yeah, like yep hair product and all that yeah, sort of stuff so yeah so yeah, nice. yeah these are for you guys i love oh, you to try thank them you out. very much mm -hmm. yeah i'll try it out yeah. it this be. is something called the sm1 it's called the side mic and it works on the wall that you're working because it points in so when you're listening around the light you treat it like a clock start at 12 go to all the way around if it's louder on the outside of the light it's going to be the niche itself if it's louder at the center of the light it's the conduit where the water is going back into it oh, okay um uh, we have this this kit comes with a deck plate for listening through concrete soil probe for listening in grassy areas all those mics mini camera with dye injector this is normally a $4,500 kit. We're doing this with the training at the show for $4,000. So you get the seven hour training course. And by the way, you'll be on our Find a Pro locator. So when somebody's looking to find somebody in, even in the UK, we get hits. Um, oh, you, really? you guys will come up, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We also build websites too. That's, you know, we, everything to do with leak detection business is what we do for you guys. So this is if you have a leak Underneath, let's say it's in a skimmer line, a main repair. drain line. What's that? It's a leak repair. Yeah, so this is a leak repair system. So what we're actually doing is, is we're reaming the pipe out with this reamer. Then what we do is we blow it out, we get it nice and dry and nice and clean. We pour our pipoxy in and we measure the right amount out. So you need to know how far back the leak is in order to know how many feet you're gonna fix. And we have a chart for inch and a half or what you call 40 millimeter. So anyway, um, when we push it in, it will literally work its way out of the leaks. The brush will climb through 90s, no problem. We'll get it in and it'll, it'll line it. Then it comes with a blower. You put the blower on it, four hours later, you could put the line back in. Into action, back yeah. into action, yeah? Nice. Yeah. That's handy. Yeah. Let me show you something on the other side I want you to see. I like to stay out of cold pools and you guys have cold pools over there. So what we got for that well, we got the cameras and stuff, but we got these hydrodomes. So let's say you have a leak in a light and it's in a conduit and it's way back. We take a pool pole, we hook this up, we hook this up to our amp. If we hold this over the light and it seals. If there's a leak in the light, water's gonna get drawn here and it's gonna tell the microphone, we have a leak in the light, oh, right? Nice. Without having to dive, without having to do that. We also have a lot of dual main drains and I'm sure you have them as well, or single yeah, main yeah, drains. Yeah. This is a weighted dome. This will go over one, and then this will go over the other and we'll listen. If there's any leaks anywhere in that main drain line or in the main drain pots, it's gonna tell you. Would that only work on certain, because sometimes you get pools at the bottom and it's like if it's the shape look, of them. Yeah, if the plaster's too uneven, it won't seal. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. This is our camera system. We can get through 40, mil uh, 40 millimeter pipes in 90s, no problem whatsoever. This is a very interesting setup. This is called the cam vac. So we get our cam our microphone, our cameras all the way down into a pipe. Then we turn it on with vacuum, not pressure, opposite. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna draw air into the pipe or dirty water into the pipe. Take a look here. Oh, so you'll, see it sucking. you'll see it sucking and then you can locate the camera head and know exactly where it is. We set it in there. This is a root, but when we get to the actual leak, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Watch, watch the water being pulled. This is an empty pipe. You could do it empty, but watch the, that's water. See the water getting, yeah, yeah, getting yeah. pulled in right there? Look at that. Oh, okay. Then you know, then you take the scanner, locate the camera head, and that's where you are. And then just dig down and repair it. Yeah. Nice. Or use the pipoxy use to that. do so. Yeah, that's it. And does it, when you're pushing that down, does it tell you how far, oh, no. Yeah, it has a meter does on there. Does it tell you how yeah. far the pipe is? It has feet is. and meter, yes. Yeah, that's it. But it doesn't matter because you're always going to locate it with that anyway. Yeah, it's just if you want to use yeah, that. But, and, but that it. doesn't help you. It could go that way, make a 90, go that Yeah. You want to know in real time where it is. You yeah. Know? That was interesting. Easy way to find leaks on swimming pools. Yeah. But it's literally like a whole nother job. So um, maybe I'll get Paul Bro Chucks. He'll become the leak detector. I don't know. We'll see. It's good stuff, though.
Steve's getting in the uh, in the ice bath. No, no, he's not. Go no, on, Steve. Why not? Put his arm in there. All right. He's drink the cold beer. Apparently, 45 seconds with your arm in there is uh, is the test. So right. I'll so give it a go. Has a timer. Regretting it already. I've had my fingertips in there, and it's not feeling great. Ready? Oh. <laughs> I don't know how anyone puts their whole body in these things. Honestly, do you do it? I've jumped in the Arctic, but I've not had one of those. I mean, it's the same. <laughs> kind of the same. It's shocking, but I like the full yeah, jump in, one foot at a time. Yeah, I feel like I want to pull it out already. Yeah, man. No, you're only. You're, yeah. Are we done? The good news is you're halfway. Ooh. 23 seconds. Halfway there now. How are you sweating in a cold bath? The endorphins that will be released, though, at the end of those 45 seconds. I want to do it, but I just wouldn't. I'll just jump out straight away if I get my full body you're in there. You're so close. 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, I can make 10 more seconds. It's fine. You can? I can, yeah. It'll be all right. It's feeling like it's burning a little okay, bit, Okay, then though. see how far you can go. It feels like it's burning. Doesn't Give me 45 seconds and I'm out. Oh. No, I'm done. What are we on? 57 seconds. You're so close. Oh, that'll do, that'll do. Oh. A minute, one. <laughs> it's better than your 45 seconds then, anyway. Can't feel my arm. So with, with the Top Up Turtle, uh, this top is Top Up a, Turtle, is that what it's called? Top Up Turtle. Oh, Turtle, sorry. Top Up Turtle, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, it's my accent. Nah, it's <laughs> me, sorry. <laughs> so I just released this like at this show, so this is brand spanking new. So it's, I do. It's like a, because like I said, look, some customers. Just an add-on. So. I've had a lot. Well, I've had a lot of customers just stick a hose in and they forget. Yeah. And then the pool's like. Yeah. Overfilled or it's overflowing. Yeah. So our little tagline is a fill and forget. <laughs> there you go, fill and forget. You like set a level. Yeah. So you got your adjustment here. So you just got a little thumb screw. Ah right. So you got about 200 mil of the, the, between there and the bottom. That's cool. I like it. I suppose it's even good for even just like the like the professional as well. I like say if the customer's away and they're working on the pool and they need to fill it up, they can just set yeah. that and then come back the next day and that should have turned it yeah, off. Yeah, a lot of the pool builders are saying, well, I can just put it on the step. Exactly. I can turn it on, I can come back tomorrow and I know that it's not going to have run yeah. over. No, I've been in that situation loads where the customer's away and then I've done a job and I need to, and I don't know whether to leave the hose on or come back the next day, but like something like this will would be ideal actually yeah nice well, thanks for showing us it's cool hi right, let's pop over to um biolab i see these guys last night at the after party they was pretty pleased to see me oh and i said i'd swing by and that was cool Um, yeah, so I said I'll swing by and they can they can show me what they're all about. All right, so I'm with the guys from Biolab. They're going to show me their product. Um, yeah, they've got these cool little products, which are like, like little bath bombs, I said, didn't I? But um, you're going to explain everything, so, so let's we, go. Yeah, so we have what's called rapid dissolve tabs, and we have them in some different technologies. We've got rapid dissolve chlorine, non-chlorine shock, uh, stainless scale control, pH increaser, and we have alkalinity. Okay. Um, pH decreaser, sorry, an alkalinity increaser. And the concept is we're dosing in tabs, so you don't have to measure anything. So you don't have to figure out how much, you're, what's an ounce or what's a gram or what's, you know, any of that stuff. So we dose one tab, two tab, three tabs, okay. instead of trying to figure out really how much is supposed to go in there. So, so you can put them in the filter well, you can put them directly into the spa. We've tested extensively, they don't damage the surface or anything like that. And they'll be gone within five minutes once you put it in. So we're gonna just show you what it looks like. Nice, exactly like a bath bomb then. And that'll take about five minutes. Or, or less, yeah. It, it, Will it go quicker running? if it's like, do you put them in the skimmers or? We put them in the filter well. Yeah, and yeah. so do you reckon it would go quicker then obviously while it's running? Yeah. Okay. And then it's gone a minute or two and it would be gone completely. It's gone quick, isn't it? It is, it's very fast. And the, the idea is 
people that don't like to measure, Airbnbs and rentals and things like that. Yeah. When you've got people trying to treat a spot, I get a lot of customers who are like, I literally don't know how much to put in. Exactly. Well, I turn right. up and they say, oh, I've put in like half the jar, and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> no, now we've got That's to not them. it. Yeah. yeah. And you can see it's been in what maybe a minute at this point, and yeah. it looks like so, it's done about half of it. Yep. Maybe. Yeah. And the last little bit goes, you know, as you get smaller yeah. and smaller, it goes pretty quickly. And she could drop it when you're, you know, you can drop it to the bottom and just let it go. And it don't damage the set. It will not damage the surface. Like no. Nope. <laughs> Wicked. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much gone then. Yeah. Yep. And we've been here what less than five minutes. Rapid dissolve tabs. Thanks for RPG showing me. Stalker. You're welcome. Cheers, no problem. Guys. Cheers. <laughs> I'll let you fool, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's over there talking about aqua combs for filter cleaners for filters, cartridge filters. I think he's trying to sneak a little sample for his small little filter that he has on his hot tub. Anyway, all in one fiberglass pool. It's quite a big one. <laughs> Hello. He's having to get his wallet out. Yeah. Let's go and see him. What are you getting? I've got myself a, an aqua comb. Oh, lovely. <laughs> clean out a little hot tub filter, yeah? Yeah, yeah clean, clean my hot tub filter. So, nice. Just to show you something, because over there, here's the key. Steve, you don't fancy one of these um, yeah. drop in yeah, all in one fiberglass pools? I want that one. I want that one. She's had enough. All right, Steve, that's the end of the pool show. What did you reckon? Well, I got a new hat anyway. New hat, you got some freebies. It's time mm -hmm. to go have... T-shirts, It's time to go have some fun around Vegas. Epic, actually, one of the one of the highlights of the Vegas trip so far. Um, and the F1 was good. Got to go into to the pit lanes um, and then go into the Aston Martin garage, um, have a look at the cars and like behind the scenes sort of thing, which was amazing. Um, and now I'm a bit tired, but just is what it is. Today I'm going to work, so I'm waiting for uh, Chris from Blu-ray XL to come pick me up. And then we're going to go and meet Heather, who owns a pool company in Vegas, and she's going to take us on a couple of her jobs. So we're going to see how she gets on, how she does things. Um, but yeah, looking forward to that. So let's check it out. Yo. Hey, man. You filming me? I'm filming you. Good morning. <laughs> going to work, yeah? Going to work. So we're at the first job, 
Me and Chris, we're with Heather. She's got a couple of jobs she's going to take us on. Here's the plant room, which is pretty weird for me because normally it's inside in like a shed or some sort of building or whatever. It could be cartridge or DE. DE is a filter, uh, basically you pour, uh, it's called dichromaceous uh, earth. Fill it in. It usually has grids, uh, rib grids with a uh, fabric outside. Okay. And some of them uh, come with the uh, with yeah, literally like 95% of the builders in, yeah. or on the jobs I do anyway, are either sand or glass. So yeah. let's check out the pool. Here's Heather. How you doing, Heather? Good, how are you? Thanks for bringing us on your job. Oh, no, thanks for the company. This pool is uh, amazing and it's got some view as well. How nice is that? Golf course great, at the back. Yeah. I always get mad. I come back here and I was like, I wish there was more to clean First job done, on to the next one then. Oh. <laughs> I do that Breaking stuff. Oh, what else you got? No problem. <laughs> So we just we just finished the next the second job. Nobody's got any Blu-ray XL at the minute. What's going on? Blu-ray. We need some Blu-ray to be putting in the pool. Nice boy. Pull out your boy for the ball. <laughs> on to the next job, yeah. Yes, sir. The next one's apparently amazing. So let's have a look. Job number three. It's a nice neighbourhood. Back this is sorry, a blue ray, another blu ray I've seen. Sorry, backyard. I call it the back garden. Back garden. You got a backyard. It's like. Yeah. That's crazy. Now you got an employee. You didn't say so you didn't say the pool guy was your employee for a day. Pool's so nice. I've yeah. been like literally looks refreshing. I can't believe like how good these pools look. I thought I had like a couple of good pools in my on my route, whatever you want to call it, but the last three pools I've been to have just beaten all of them. So. It didn't hurt any. Another lovely pool. 
that's the end of our working day then with Heather from Heather's Pool Services. Big thank you to her for letting yeah, us come out, you guys. tag along amazing. and uh, clean up these amazing pools. They're so nice. I'm quite jealous actually that you get to come see these types of houses and stuff, but well, it was really good and I enjoyed it. So cheers to Chris for helping film. Thanks to Heather for letting us come along. You can come anytime. Holla and, uh, your boy, yeah, right? yeah, holla your boy, holla your girl. <laughs> Peace. So I uh, went back to the hotel, got changed, we're going out now. We're getting a helicopter ride, which I've never been in. I've never been in a helicopter before. So we're walking to meet um, Chris and all, uh, all them lot. Caesar's Palace, which is huge. Goes like way back there as well. There's Flamingo, that's where I'm staying. Frick. Helicopters. Are you looking forward to it, Steve? I'm gonna love it. I love helicopters. A little bit nervous though. No, not at all. I'm nervous. <laughs> Don't have to worry about your taking selfies for five minutes. No. <laughs> oh, welcome to Vegas, baby. How you doing? You're a pilot? Oh, oh, pilot. Oh, pilot. Oh. <laughs> you got the okay. Red Bull guy flying thought, going upside down. Hey, you you're, know you're, you're, you're so nice. Yeah. Yeah. You know we're going upside down if it's Red Bull, right? <laughs> all right, I gotta give you a quick safety briefing. Yeah. Just come on over here. Take a look at this door. There's two handles. Don't pull any of them. Okay. Good? Yeah. We're all in. It's a bit tight. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit claustrophobic. <laughs> cool maverick uh helicopters uh it just took us well obviously our way i showed you over to vegas sort of sphere everything um steve was thinking about going to the grand canyon in the morning but it's 45 minutes there and 45 minutes back i got a little travel sick if i'm honest i don't know if i'm up for that it's good though well what else are we doing tonight omnia omnia Yes, club. Right, we'll check going, it out. I'm going clubbing. Just listen to some music. And that is Vegas done. Big thank you to Chris Galvin from Blu-ray XL for inviting me over and of course taking us to the F1. That was amazing. And if you want to find out any more about Blu-ray XL, I'll leave their Instagram tag on the screen now and in the description. Also big thanks to Primate Pool Tools. I will also leave their Instagram handle on the screen and in the description. So if you want to know any more about their products, check them out. And lastly, Heather, big thanks for letting us come out on your route and doing some pool cleans. If you are in Vegas, I'll leave her Instagram handle on the screen and in the description. So if you need a pool girl, holler at Heather. She does an amazing job. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. I've got a couple of dirty hot tubs coming up this week, so look out for the videos on them. Holler your boy for the pool work. <laughs>